travelled from town to town. We, we basically had a mandate from Trevor to go to every town or every village or every area that we've done a crusade in in the last five years and just connect with them. Yeah. And, you know, we had an amazing response from places like Gurubhattan, from Leash River, which is the first crusade that I run and really captured my heart for India. And just to see them say, we want to unite with the Bible fires. We want to really come under Trevor's teaching and Trevor's anointing. And, you know, that was so good to hear them say that. To see them respond in that way and say, you know, wherever Trevor is, we want to be under his teaching. When is Trevor coming back to India? We want to be there. They really caught the vision also of the, the prophetic word that Trevor received when we were in um, Gantok in India just this last November that the fire and uh, revival would come from the hills down to the plains. And they really grasped that, didn't they? Yeah, they really did. And you could see the excitement in their eyes just saying that, you know, God was going to come and break out in their areas. And they really were breaking out of old mindsets. They really were seeing it as a united area for Christ. It was that God would come in, God would invade, and they would see revival come to their town. And I was really impacted by Gurubha town. I mean, it had been a, exactly a year since the last crusade that we visited, and they were still seeing healings. They were still seeing Hindus saying, we want to come to know Christ. We want to be baptised. And, and yeah, 2nd of January, they were baptising five families. So that's about 25 people having water baptism. And in a state like India, that is such a big step. And that just shows a freedom that they're now living in because they've given their lives to Christ. So you know, all the prayers that you're doing, all the financial support you're giving through your offerings, through your gifts, I want to say is being so well used out there, you know. The prayers, you can see the freedom in the pastor's lives now. You know, and the finances, you can really see the difference in Papa's house. It really is a kingdom place because of it, you know. But still, and the, and the um, crusades are just so vital to opening that door to people's homes and to people's yeah. lives in the, the villages because it, we have testimony after testimony, as Chris said, of um, one family member being healed at a crusade and then the whole family become, um, come to know Jesus and then that impacting the village too. And it's not always easy for that first family to come to Christ because they, yeah. they do experience difficulties, don't they? When, uh, Sometimes and yeah, and that's where they know they've got to make it, and that's where yeah. Jesus really meets them where they're at, you know, and that's where the local pastors really get involved and bring them into a church and keep them part yeah. of a family, you know. So, and that is the big difference, and that is the key thing. It's not just Trevor and Sharon and the team going in twice a year, the pastors now really are coming on board with the vision and really are teaching this all year round, you know, that healing can happen as soon as they pray, that they can work in signs, wonders, and miracles that they can live in kingdom principles and the abundance that comes with that. And those places where there isn't a local church, the follow-up team set up fellowships, they call them, of yeah. um, new believers that they nurture. And that is a really big task for the follow-up team. Uh, just thinking about the crusade that happened in Bilborough, which uh, was just last April, my first trip to India. The follow-up team are still doing some work in Bilborough, although they've yeah. moved on to the new, the new um, area latest crusade because there's just so much to do there's there's fellowships that are being established yeah. that, con that need to continue to have input from the follow-up team and that is just real discipleship yeah it is and just to finish you know Anapam is really really sowing his time into that him and his follow-up workers really are traveling they're working seven days a week to really see the kingdom of god break free in these areas mm -hmm. and they're pouring into the life groups they're pouring into local churches, they're building relationships with the pastors. So, you know, please do continue to pray for that. Please continue to pray for the children of Papa's house, you know. They will continue to grow the way they're growing in their faith, in their education. You know, the best thing I can say to any of you is, you know, if you really want to see this happen, if you really want to work in science and miracles yourselves, partner with Revival Fires, you know, either sow into it or come on a mission trip with them. Everything is on the website for that, and that's, the, that's how we got into it. It's just by offering our time to Revival Fires two or three weeks a year, you know, go out into India and you really will see a new level of, you will operate a new level of faith. You won't just see, you will operate it for yourself. And that's what it was. I mean, just for us to go out there as members of Revival Fires, we didn't go out there under, under a position, under a leadership role as pastors or anything like that. And that's, that was really key in our role out there, showing the pastors that anybody can do it, anybody can operate through the kingdom of God if they've got Christ in their lives, you know, and that was a big thing for us. So we both really want to encourage you 
you know, keep praying into India, keep sowing into India if you're already doing that. You know, and you know, really express the interest. If it's so burning in your heart to come on mission, really express that interest in the Bible fires. We really would love to hear from you. Yeah, you will see that there is such a need in India in, in, the, in the area of West Bengal. If you come and experience the crusades, the meetings, you visit the children at Papa's house, you will see the need that is there. But also you'll see the, the things that have been put yeah. in place. You'll see Jesus really moving in those villages and in people's hearts. You'll see it firsthand. It's nothing like it.